Okay, so in Xtool Creative Space, there is a tool over here on the left side for text. So um, I just selected the text tool and then you most softwares allow you to change your text right in here. But in Xtool Creative Space, you actually have to go into this little area over here and this is where you're going to change it. So I am just going to change mine um, to an M for an initial. And then if you go down here to typeface, this is where you can find all of the fonts. Now fonts that are, um, some of these are already in Xtool, these ha a handful up here. The ones below where it says system typefaces, those are fonts that are installed, downloaded and installed on your computer. So you will be able to access any font that is downloaded and installed on your computer here in Xtool. So I'm actually going to use this font here, which is one that's on my computer. And I, you can see that I have it here. So um, while the font is selected, I now have the processing. So I, I am going to engrave this. So I'm just gonna click engrave and I'm gonna size it. So I know that it needs to be pretty small. Um, up here, it's showing me the size. I'm probably gonna have to size it even, even more once I do some framing. Okay, so that's perfect if you're just using one letter and you don't need to do anything real fancy to it. But what about if you need your fonts or your text to be joined together, which is called welding, or what if you need to make some other changes to it? So let's take a look at that. So I'm just gonna type out my name here. Um, and I'm actually gonna enlarge this so you can see kind of what's going on. And if I put it on score, it will be easier to see. So what's happening here is there are overlaps where every letter is combined. So if you are scoring this, you would actually get that little overlap. So instead of that, what you probably want is for this to be completely joined or what's called welded. So all you have to do with the um, font selected, click weld and you can see what happens. It has now been completely joined. Now the M is not joined with the rest of it, nor is the dot of the I because it, those two pieces were not overlapping. However, it is now all moving together. Okay, so if I click, click engrave, it looks the same as it did pro previously, but for scoring and cutting, it's really important to make sure that you are welding if you want to um, make sure that you, you're you getting a good, accurate cut or score. Okay, so let's um, look at a couple of other things. So one thing that is important to keep in mind, once you've welded, you really can't make any other changes. This is common in a lot of different softwares because what happens is um, the font loses its font or text characteristics once it's welded. It basically becomes a shape or if you're coming from Silhouette Studio, for example, it's it's called um, a path or again, a shape. So if you need to make any additional changes for this other than like sizing, which you can still do um, by changing the um, text box size itself, you don't have the options like you do previously. All right, so let's, let's start a new text box so we can have a little bit more control here. So if I click text, comes up again, you can see that I have this hello. Well, if I want to rotate it, I can move it this way, all right? If I want to make it so that um, I type like in a vertical line, what I need to do is actually type it in a vertical line, all right? Now, what you can see here, and I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller just so the whole thing will fit, but what you can see here is that there's a lot of space here. So if you wanna change that, you can put a negative number in here and that should change the spacing between, it doesn't look like it did anything here. Oh, leading. So you can see what's happening now. So maybe we just wanna do one or let's try two or three. And you can see that the letters are getting closer and closer together. Now, so, so leading is what's gonna be um, basically space between lines. Spacing is gonna be space between letters. So if we go back up here and did hello, you can see we've got negative 10. If we put it back to zero, it should be correct. But if we want those a little bit closer, we can do negative three. Um, let's do negative one and see. So you can see how close that is. Now, if I wanna put another line here, like let's say um, sunshine and I want sunshine and hello to be closer, I can adjust this leading. So let's change it to four and you can see that it is um, becoming closer and closer. Five, let's do six. Now, this is a situation where, watch what happens if you weld this. 
See how now that H and the E and the L are no longer overlapping? Same with the dot there. Um, in some softwares, um, you're not gonna be able to undo that, but in this one, you obviously can. So I just want you to look at that a little bit closer. I'm gonna make it larger so you can see. So again, if you were scoring or cutting, this would be a problem. You would get these cutouts. That's why you're gonna wanna use weld, okay? And then you've got a couple other um, options here. You, um, regular style, it just means it's straight up and down. If the font has alternatives like italics, bold, if you wanted to do bold and italics, you can't, it doesn't look like you can, you know, select off, but it does give you the option for both bold and italics. All right, so you're gonna wanna make those changes. The very last thing that you wanna do is weld, okay? So let's look at the difference between regular. Now if we weld, we no longer have the option to make it bold because we no longer get the text option. All right, so that's why we wanna do welding at the very, very end. Let's change this to bold and italics. And now, you know what? I think that's overlapping a little too much, so I'm gonna change this to three. Now it doesn't um, overlap at all right there, but you can see the letters themselves do, and that's just due to the spacing now that it's bold. So maybe you wanna put this back to zero. So the point with all of this is that you've got a lot of different options here for what you can do. You can also, if you wanna flip this vertically, um, for if you can't do it on the F1, but if you were using this with the M1, you, um, when you're cutting heat transfer vinyl, you need to reverse. So that would be a situation where you might wanna do that. Reflect vertically. Again, you're not probably gonna to wanna to do this in most situations, but here you do have options here, okay? And then arrange. This is just if you're using multiple layers and you have things on top of each other. Outline, if you want to get an offset, this is what how you would do it. So let's just click OK for that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put the offset line on its own layer. So I'm gonna select the offset, and in this case, I'm gonna right click and tell it move to a red layer. The reason that you might wanna do that is say you want to engrave the um, inner part, okay? And then you want the whole thing cut out. So now I'm on the red layer and I'm gonna cut that. So that is how you would be able to both engrave and cut in the same, um, in the same processing area, all right? You can assign these to different processing types. So if you watch down here, you can see that it's switching back and forth. Engrave, cut, engrave, cut, and you could go one step further and do score if you wanted, okay? All right, so hopefully that gives you um, a good overview of how to um, use the text tool in Xtool Creative Space. If you're looking for more tutorials, I do have a lot of tutorials um, on the Xtool machine, laser machines in general. I have the P2, M1, F1, and S1, so I have content videos on all of them. Uh, I will tell you that the Xtool Creative Space videos and tutorials that I also have on Silhouette School blog uh, pretty much apply to all of the machines because they all use Creative Space. Um, and if you're looking for one-on-one -on -one help, I do offer that as well through Silhouette U. So go ahead and check that out. I offer a seven-day free trial and I would love to see you around. So don't forget to hit subscribe.